Welcome to Human. From ancient prophecies to modern doomsday scenarios, humanity has long been captivated by predictions of the apocalypse. The end of the world holds a morbid fascination, sparking fear and intrigue. Across cultures, seers and scholars have sought to unravel the mysteries of time. Michael de Nostradamus and Sir Isaac Newton left an indelible mark on apocalyptic predictions. Nostradamus is renowned for his cryptic quatrains foretelling major historical events. Isaac Newton, celebrated scientist, also harbored a deep fascination with biblical prophecy. These figures shared a common interest in unraveling the secrets of the future. Born in 1503 in southeastern France, Nostradamus lived in a time of great upheaval and change. The Renaissance was in full swing, challenging traditional ways of thinking. The Reformation was tearing at the fabric of the Catholic Church. Nostradamus rose to prominence as a physician treating plague victims. His prophecies, written in multiple languages, are shrouded in ambiguity and open to multiple interpretations. This enigmatic style has added to his mystique, allowing readers to find resonance with current events. Some scholars dismiss his work as gibberish, while others see accurate foretellings of major events. Born in 1643 in England, Isaac Newton revolutionized our understanding of the universe with his laws of motion, universal gravitation, and groundbreaking work in optics. Yet beneath the veneer of the rational scientist lay a deep and abiding interest in theology, alchemy, and biblical prophecy. Newton, a devout but unorthodox Christian, believed that the Bible contained hidden codes and prophecies that could unlock the secrets of the past and future including the timing of the apocalypse. He spent countless hours poring over biblical texts, applying his analytical mind to deciphering their hidden meanings. Unlike Nostradamus's cryptic verses, Newton's approach to prophecy was more methodical and grounded in his understanding of history and biblical chronology. He combined his scientific rigor with his theological studies, seeking to reconcile the laws of nature with the divine plan. Newton's fascination with alchemy a blend of philosophy, chemistry, and mysticism practiced in the Middle Ages further illustrates his willingness to explore realms beyond the purely rational. While alchemy was often dismissed as superstition and quackery, Newton saw in it a search for deeper truths about the nature of matter and the universe. The heart of Nostradamus's prophetic work lies in his magnum opus, Les Prophetes, a collection of over 900 quatrains grouped into 10 sections known as centuries. Each century, comprising 100 quatrains, delves into the murky waters of future events, offering glimpses into wars, natural disasters, the rise and fall of empires, and ultimately, the apocalypse. Published in 1555, Les Prophetes immediately captured the public imagination sparking a frenzy of interpretation that continues to this day. Nostradamus's cryptic verses, written in a blend of French, Latin, Greek and other languages, are a tapestry of symbolism, allegory and historical allusion, making them notoriously difficult to decipher. Some scholars argue that Nostradamus deliberately obfuscated his message, fearing persecution for revealing too much. Others believe that he intended his prophecies to be open-ended, allowing for multiple interpretations and a timeless relevance. Regardless of his intentions, the centuries have become a treasure trove for prophecy enthusiasts who scour his quatrains for clues about the future, seeking to unravel their hidden meanings and connect them to current events. Decoding the prophecies, a legacy of interpretation. Interpreting Nostradamus' prophecies is no easy feat. His quatrains are riddled with metaphors, anagrams and historical references that often obscure more than they reveal. Over the centuries, countless individuals, from amateur enthusiasts to renowned scholars, have attempted to decode Nostradamus' cryptic verses, often arriving at wildly different interpretations. 
Some interpretations rely on a literal reading of the text, attempting to match specific phrases with historical events. Others delve into numerology, astrology, and other esoteric practices, seeking hidden patterns and symbolic meanings within the quatrains. This multiplicity of interpretations has led to both praise and criticism. Supporters point to seemingly accurate predictions of major events, such as the French Revolution, the rise of Hitler, and the assassination of John F. Kennedy, as evidence of Nostradamus's prophetic abilities. Critics, however, argue that his vague and ambiguous language can be manipulated to fit any historical narrative. They contend that Nostradamus's prophecies are more akin to horoscopes, offering general predictions that can be interpreted in hindsight to fit a desired outcome. Nostradamus and the Apocalypse Predictions of Doom. Like many prophets throughout history, Nostradamus dedicated a significant portion of his writings to the end times, painting a vivid and often terrifying picture of the apocalypse. Scattered throughout the centuries are quatrains that allude to natural disasters, plagues, wars, and the rise of a powerful antichrist figure, all culminating in a final battle between good and evil. One of the most chilling prophecies found in Century 10, Quatrain 72, describes a king of terror who will descend from the skies, unleashing unimaginable destruction upon the world. This figure has been variously interpreted as a tyrannical ruler, a comet or asteroid impact, or even an alien invasion. Another prominent theme in Nostradamus' apocalyptic visions is the Great Flood, a recurring motif in mythology and religious texts. He describes a catastrophic deluge that will engulf the earth wiping out entire civilizations and reshaping the world as we know it. While some interpret these predictions as literal events, others view them as symbolic representations of societal upheaval, spiritual crisis or the cyclical nature of history. Nostradamus's enduring legacy, a timeless prophet, Despite the passage of centuries, Nostradamus' prophecies captivate the public imagination. His cryptic quatrains have been translated into countless languages, inspiring books, documentaries and films. What is it about this 16th century astrologer that resonates with modern audiences? Perhaps it is the allure of the unknown, the desire to glimpse our collective fate. In a world of uncertainty, Nostradamus' prophecies offer a tantalizing glimpse into what might be. The ambiguity of his language fuels our fascination. His open-ended quatrains allow readers to project their own fears and hopes. Nostradamus's legacy remains firmly entrenched in history, a testament to our enduring fascination with the mysteries of time. While Isaac Newton's genius revolutionized our understanding of the physical world, his fascination with biblical prophecy reveals a different facet of his pursuits. For Newton, the Bible was a repository of ancient wisdom encoded with profound truths about history and humanity. Driven by belief in a divine plan, Newton delved into scriptures with scientific rigor. He meticulously studied biblical chronology and ancient languages, aiming to unlock hidden messages within the sacred texts. Among the biblical texts that captivated Newton's imagination, the Book of Daniel held particular significance. Filled with cryptic visions, symbolic language, and prophecies of empires rising and falling, the Book of Daniel presented a unique challenge to Newton's analytical mind. He was particularly drawn to the book's prophecies concerning the time, times, and half a time, a mysterious period often interpreted as referring to the end times. Newton believed that by deciphering the meaning of this time frame, he could pinpoint the date of the apocalypse. Drawing upon his vast knowledge of history, astronomy and biblical chronology, Newton meticulously analyzed the prophecies of Daniel, comparing them to historical events and seeking to establish a timeline for the fulfillment of these prophecies. He cross-referenced biblical texts with historical records, attempting to match the rise and fall of empires, the reigns of kings, and other significant events with the symbolic language of Daniel's visions. This meticulous approach, combining biblical exegesis with historical analysis, formed the cornerstone of Newton's apocalyptic calculations. 
After years of intense study and meticulous calculations, Newton arrived at the year 2060. He based this on his interpretation of the Book of Daniel, specifically the prophecy of the time, times and half a time, which he calculated to represent 1,260 years. Adding 1,260 years to 606 AD led him to 2060, marked by the return of Jesus Christ and the establishment of God's kingdom on earth. Section 4, Science versus Prophecy, A Clash of Methodologies, Isaac Newton's foray into biblical prophecy might seem at odds with his reputation as a rational scientist, the father of modern physics who unraveled the laws of motion and gravity. However, Newton saw science and religion as complementary lenses to understand the universe. He saw God as the ultimate clockmaker, setting the cosmos in motion according to immutable laws. Newton's scientific discoveries strengthened his belief in a rational, ordered universe governed by a divine plan. His study of prophecy was an extension of his quest to understand the cosmos, both physical and spiritual. Section 5. Newton's Apocalypse, a looming threat or a distant echo. As we approach the year 2060, Newton's prediction, once relegated to the realm of fringe speculation, takes on an added layer of intrigue. Will this year pass like any other? Or will it mark a turning point in human history as the great scientists envisioned? It is crucial to approach such predictions with a healthy dose of skepticism. While Newton's intellectual prowess is undeniable, his apocalyptic calculations are based on interpretations of ancient texts, subject to ambiguity and multiple interpretations. Moreover, the world has undergone dramatic transformations since Newton's time, rendering any attempt to apply 17th century predictions to the complexities of the 21st century a highly speculative endeavor. However, dismissing Newton's prediction outright would be equally simplistic. His work serves as a potent reminder of the enduring human fascination with the apocalypse, the desire to understand our place in the grand scheme of time, and the enduring power of belief to shape even the most rational minds. Section 1. Convergent Paths Shared Themes in Apocalyptic Visions Despite their vastly different backgrounds and approaches, Nostradamus and Newton's apocalyptic predictions share some striking similarities. Both men foresaw a world plunged into chaos and tribulation, marked by natural disasters, plagues, wars, and the rise of tyrannical rulers. These shared themes, while not unique to Nostradamus and Newton, highlight the enduring power of certain apocalyptic tropes across time and cultures. One recurring theme in both Nostradamus's quatrains and Newton's interpretations is the idea of a great king or man of destiny who will emerge to reshape the world, often through violence and conquest. This figure, variously interpreted as a political leader, a religious zealot or even a celestial being, embodies the anxieties of their respective eras, reflecting the fears of invasion, tyranny and societal upheaval. Similarly, both men alluded to catastrophic natural disasters, such as floods, earthquakes and celestial events, as harbingers of the end times. These prophecies likely resonated with the very real threats posed by disease, famine and natural calamities that plagued their times. Section 2. The Weight of History. Interpreting the Past. Predicting the Future. Both Nostradamus and Newton were deeply immersed in the study of history, albeit through different lenses. Nostradamus steeped in the lore of antiquity and the astrological traditions of his time, viewed history as a cyclical tapestry of events with patterns repeating across generations. His prophecies often drew upon historical figures and events, recasting them in a future context. Newton, on the other hand, approached history through the lens of biblical chronology seeking to reconcile historical records with the timelines outlined in scripture. He believed that God's plan for humanity unfolded through historical events and by deciphering the patterns of the past, one could glean insights into the future. Despite their different approaches, both men recognized the weight of history in shaping the present and influencing the future. Their prophecies, 
whether veiled in cryptic verses or grounded in biblical calculations, reflected their deep engagement with the past and their belief that history held the key to unlocking the mysteries of time. Section 3 Science and Scripture – Two Sides of the Same Coin The juxtaposition of Nostradamus, the astrologer and seer, and Newton, the scientist and mathematician, raises intriguing questions about the relationship between science, religion, and the pursuit of knowledge. While their methodologies differed significantly, both men sought to understand the underlying order of the universe, albeit through different frameworks. Nostradamus, operating within the Renaissance worldview, embraced astrology, alchemy, and other esoteric practices as valid tools for understanding the cosmos and predicting future events. His prophecies, often couched in astrological symbolism and cryptic language, reflected his belief in a universe governed by celestial influences. Newton, on the other hand, is celebrated as a pioneer of the scientific revolution, a champion of reason and empirical observation. Yet his deep immersion in biblical prophecy reveals a different facet of his intellectual pursuits, one where faith and reason intertwined in his quest to comprehend the divine plan. Section 4. The Enduring Allure of the Apocalypse, a Timeless Human Fascination Centuries after Nostradamus penned his cryptic quatrains and Newton calculated the year 2060, their apocalyptic predictions continue to fascinate and unsettle us. What is it about the end of the world, the ultimate unknown, that holds such enduring allure? Perhaps it is the inherent human desire to make sense of our place in the grand scheme of time, to believe that our lives have meaning and purpose within a larger cosmic narrative. Apocalyptic prophecies, regardless of their accuracy or plausibility, provide a framework for understanding history, explaining present events and anticipating the future. They offer a sense of order and predictability in a world often characterized by chaos and uncertainty. Or perhaps it is the thrill of the unknown, the adrenaline rush of contemplating the unimaginable that draws us to apocalyptic predictions. The end of the world as we know it represents the ultimate taboo, the ultimate fear, and yet it also holds a strange fascination, a morbid curiosity about what lies beyond the veil of time. Section 1. Echoes of the Apocalypse, Relevance in a Modern World As we navigate the complexities of the 21st century, the apocalyptic visions of Nostradamus and Newton, once confined to the realm of dusty tomes and esoteric debates, take on a renewed relevance. The world today faces a myriad of challenges, from climate change and global pandemics to political instability and technological disruption that echo the anxieties and uncertainties that fueled apocalyptic thinking throughout history. The spectre of environmental catastrophe, a recurring theme in apocalyptic narratives, looms large in our collective consciousness as we grapple with the consequences of climate change. The COVID-19 pandemic, with its devastating impact on global health and economies, has rekindled fears of plagues and societal collapse. And the rise of political polarization, fueled by misinformation and social media echo chambers, evokes the spectre of tyranny and societal fragmentation that haunted Nostradamus and Newton's times. While it is essential to approach such parallels with caution, avoiding simplistic comparisons or sensationalized interpretations, the echoes of apocalyptic thinking in our modern world highlight the enduring power of these themes to resonate with our deepest fears and anxieties. Section two, beyond prediction, the human need for meaning. Beyond the specific dates and events predicted by Nostradamus and Newton, their work taps into a fundamental human need, the search for meaning and purpose in a vast and often chaotic universe. The allure of apocalyptic prophecies lies not merely in their ability to predict the future, but in their capacity to provide a narrative framework for understanding our place in the grand scheme of things. Apocalyptic thinking at its core is a search for order and meaning in the face of uncertainty and chaos. It offers a sense of directionality to history, a belief that events, however tumultuous, are unfolding according to a larger plan. 
This search for meaning is particularly relevant in times of crisis and upheaval, when traditional structures and belief systems are shaken to their core. Nostradamus' prophecies resonated with a 16th century Europe grappling with religious wars, plagues and social unrest, while Newton's calculations offered a sense of order and predictability in a world still reeling from the scientific revolution and the challenges to traditional religious authority. Section 3. Our Enduring Fascination, A Legacy of Wonder and Uncertainty The enduring fascination with Nostradamus and Newton's apocalyptic predictions, despite their often cryptic and ambiguous nature, speaks to the power of these themes to transcend time and culture. Their work continues to inspire books, documentaries and countless internet debates, fueling our collective curiosity about the end of times and the mysteries of the universe. Perhaps it is the very ambiguity of their predictions, the open-ended nature of their prophecies, that allows each generation to find relevance and meaning within their words. Or perhaps it is the enduring human need to believe that there is more to our existence than meets the eye, that our lives are part of a larger cosmic drama. Whatever the reason, the legacy of Nostradamus and Newton's apocalyptic visions serves as a potent reminder of our enduring fascination with the unknown, the mysteries of time, and the human need to find meaning and purpose in a world often characterized by uncertainty and change.